Hi friends, this is uh, Sarun and Balakrishnan. So I've been posting this video after uh, like five, six months. So I've been uh, away from uh, stock markets for quite some time. Uh, so like I wanted to post this video to sort of again uh, share an important data point, right? So like most of you think that uh, the market is euphoric and uh, like people are making easy money at this point. So I actually see an interesting trend where uh, uh, like the, the rate hike, the rates, interest rates in India is an all-time low, right? So if you see the last uh, 25 years chart that you are seeing on the screen, so almost uh, this interest rate has been uh, flattened down, right? You can see between uh, 2020 to 2022, it's almost at 4%, right? Whereas it's, it has averaged between uh, 8% over the last 20 years. And uh, this trend is going to reverse and uh, the interest rates will actually start going upwards uh, which should again uh, benefit the corporate banks right so you should keep a watch on this and currently if you see uh, ask see around you the inflation has hit multi-year highs right and also like we are entering into a phase where uh, the interest rates the inflation has to be contained as well as uh, the growth might again slow down in the corporate India, right? So that's the kind of state that we are again getting into. So again, uh, it's very important for us to sort of again keep this in mind while uh, uh, considering the uh, stocks as well as the other opportunities that again comes in the market, right? So that's the most uh, important aspect that we should again keep a watch on. Uh, so now, uh, like we are clearly heading towards a phase of slower economic growth and higher inflation, right? So which is sort of against setting the stage for uh, higher interest rates, right? So like post COVID again, the market has gained a good critical mass and uh, it has gone up drastically up. So now in this changing scenario, it's important to ensure your equity is aligned towards more conservative valuations and uh, value investing is definitely going to come back. So most people, they priced in higher growth for companies, uh, but growth stocks with higher overvaluation will tend to see a mean reversion over time. Right? So I think this is a time to be more uh, cautious and uh, watch out for these trends to play out in the next uh, uh, six to nine months and uh, see like how that takes up from there. So I hope you uh, had a great time and uh, so like let's see how this trend plays out and uh, uh, don't buy overvalued stocks and uh, so like you can actually keep moderate the valuations when you pick the equity. Right? So that's it from my end today and hope all of you are doing well. Thank you so much.